Hi guys. Okay, so um, I'm on my way to meet with a pastor. Um, they helped us with bonfire last year. And he messaged me and said that um, their church wanted to help support bonfire again this year. So God is good. He's he's opening up every door. And what he wants me to say to you guys um, like now is, you know, we cannot do his will alone, right? We need one another. So like... Um, everyone with the same heart he will put the same purpose the same mission the same vision um, in each and every single one of our hearts it doesn't matter where you are on this earth um, he will bring you all together you know but you just have to be willing and um, he's been testing me so hard um, recently and um, you know all like everything is just happening at once and um, he, he wants to open every door, but he wants to make sure that he um, that he knows that we trust him fully, right? That he wants to know that we will walk in all of his ways and um, obey, basically obey. And um, when he opens like a little door, he wants to know if he will follow through or not. And then he'll open up a next door, a next door, a next door, until like he pulls through fully um, and we finish his race completely you know and that's all that I pray for every day is that you know we all finish strong together um, finish this race strong that God put us in um, in unity like community unity as one as a body you know and like their church may be the hands and the feet and we are his the other hand and foot and um someone is like the fingers and the toes like we we all need one another to complete his body and he wants us to move as one and um so that's why he wants you to be connected like yes within a church but within a community that has the same heart the same mission the same vision as christ you know and um he will never fail if his spirit is living inside of you um inside of them whoever they are, wherever they are on this earth, he will make all things possible and he will bring everyone together. And since just May, like um, when my heart was just always for the Philippines and um, just keeping quiet, now I'm okay with the camera. So now I don't even know what to do. Like God was testing to see if I could get actually used to recording and getting used to the camera. And it was quicker than I thought and like now I don't even care so um, now I don't know what to do I'm just waiting on him to see what he has planned right and um, so when my heart was like for the Philippines it still is and everything but to move there to live there just quietly without telling anyone without taking pictures and recording and like showing my friends and stuff when they are all curious you know um, now I will but God is saying, now do whatever you can here, like right where you are, because people need him here more than ever. So um, I'm doing that because he will fill you with love. He will fill you with joy. He will fill you with purpose, a vision, a mission that he has. He already had planned from when you were in your mother's womb, right? He knew exactly what you're going to look like, how you're going to be. But um, what you're going to sound like, what you're going to be doing. He knew everything. He has everything planned. But it's it's like the world, the environment, people who, who kind of change that path for us. And we have to know to just continue to just look only to him. Because um, whatever path he has, we have to look only in his path. And not listen to the left, right, and center, you know. Because um, people will always doubt right and that's what's been happening to me recently this past like week I've been fighting off a cold and I never take medicine I just have never ever taken medicine and um God knows that right and I don't I don't believe in medicine like when you have a cold or something like that like I always eat like garlic or ginger onions like um I drink lots of green tea like honey um lemon 
that kind of stuff I just always have and like if I have pain or something I literally just like pray it off sleep it off like that kind of stuff and now I know why God made me that way all these years is because he wants us to trust in him for healing he wants us to trust him with our lives right and he literally makes you completely better I didn't get sick in Jesus name like that's I'm blessed like I got to rest and um, all that kind of stuff but during this time when the devil knows that you you want to follow in God's ways if it is fully or if you're just seeing if he's real or not or whatever it is um, the devil knows so he will the devil would use whoever he can around you the most miserable make the people around you the most miserable people you know the most negative people and try to bring you down right try to bring the evil out of you try to bring negativity out of you um, and not put God first not put love first not put self-control first and um, I really needed to like pray on my knees because literally because the devil knows that like I'm walking full faith for God and giving up every single thing like I have for him to follow his ways because this is how much God loves his children this is how much he wants to bring freedom and love and peace and joy into the lives of like the brokenhearted the broken lives out there the lost you know the depressed the sad like that's not of God and he wants to bring joy and life to all these like beautiful children right which is you and um but we need to start somewhere so yeah like we have to keep our eyes fixed on God even when you feel sad or if you feel like angry or feel like you know someone is just rubbing you the wrong way or something like don't it's not blaming that other person you never blame anybody because it's actually the devil using other people to try to get to you right and um, you have to say no in Jesus name like powerfully like no no like I will not let this happen like um, no like it will not get to me and God is bigger he's more powerful and he has the perfect plan right he has the perfect plan we just have to follow full 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 heartedly wholeheartedly you know and God knows he knows if your heart is fully for it or if it's just halfway or if you're doubting a little he knows everything so we want to be fully 100 and million billion trillion percent trusting in him right and um so he wants us to be connected and and united with one another he doesn't want separate churches all around this world he wants us to love one another like doesn't matter if you can speak the same language or whatnot like if his spirit is there he wants us to be united working together to bring heaven onto earth you know and um yeah i'm excited to meet with them and to unite with them again and um, we'll explain to them about all that bonfire is doing and all all the um, amazing things God has been doing for bonfire and for emerging generation um, we just um, we want to unite everyone together so we want them a part of this we want to be a part of it if you want to be a part of it you know um, just get connected find us like on Facebook or message someone that you know like if you have any prayer requests like ask just message like we will pray for you like it prayer is so powerful and it's just um, so amazing until you know like that you can do this for yourself you can pray to God yourself like just I know at like the hardest times there are hard times where the prayer won't even come out even though you want to just push it out there you know like scream it if you have to like you have to let it out um, out of your mouth you know you have to confess it to God and um, it can be on your own you know but um, yeah we're excited we're excited to see all that God has in store like um, 
you know he doesn't want us to depend on worldly security no materialistic things that's not gonna get you to heaven and that stuff's not gonna go with you to heaven you know and during this week like I've just been praying a lot and God has been saying um, you know there's so many people who go to church who believe in God who know God who love God and know that God loves them and all that kind of stuff but He's saying only a very few actually get into heaven, you know? Like, even though you believe and you know, like, he wants you to be full, wholeheartedly for him. Full, wholeheartedly in love with him, trusting him, believing in him, in all his miracles, you know? And he, he knows that. He knows if you're willing to give up everything or um, whatever it is. Like, he wants your life. He wants your heart. He wants you in your deepest, darkest times. Like, when you're alone, he knows exactly what you're doing. Um, there's no hiding anything. So it's like, it's no one for anyone to judge. But it's just knowing that he knows everything, right? He sees everything. He sees you at every time, right? So... Um, yeah, like just keep your eyes and your heart fixed on him because if you don't really like you're gonna just be sucked into the darkness and become like the ways of the world which is of sadness, of depression, of like you know all that kind of stuff like you want to be in his light, right? You want to be in his joy, in his life, in his love and that's all he speaks of so I'm excited for all that God has in store <laughs> like it's just more and more and more like he shows me every single day like miracle after miracle after miracle and I just follow through because you never want to miss an opportunity you know like he has so much planned like he's in control of this entire earth right and um yeah like you just never want to miss out on his blessings, his miracles, his love, his joy, his comfort, all that kind of stuff. So we're excited. We got to do this together in unity um, as one body, right? And so just ask him, ask him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your spirit and soul, like, what does he want from you? Like, who does he want you to connect with? Who does he want you to message even or ask for prayer or maybe you need to pray for someone or um, if you need to forgive or if you want forgiveness or whatever it is, ask him. He will tell you. He will. He'll tell you in your heart and you're going to feel this weird feeling and you're going to be like, what? Someone's going to pop into your head or something, your heart. You're going to be like, what? And that's him, okay? So just ask him, talk to him. He wants a relationship with you. And um, he wants you to get connected, okay? Get connected with um, someone else, a group or something. You can. We're not made to be on this earth to be walking alone, right? He made us. We're here at Refuel Church. Um, September 25th, they're going to have a new service if you guys want to join. 2723 St. Clair Avenue East. And this is Pastor Matt, <laughs> Philippines, and <laughs> Jed, and Justice. And we're here actually. I, I want to tell you something really cool. Um, I was vlogging on the way here. And everything that I was saying was exactly what you guys said, is that we're all different, and he needs every single one of us. I said I was coming to, to Refuel Church because he's bringing us to be one body, right? Mm -hmm. So, But the thing is, the devil is going to try to get to us harder than ever when he knows that we're trying to like work and do God's will, and that's what the devil has been doing. But we have to stand strong and work as one because like we are all his hands his feet his you know his body hello okay so that's what he's doing and I was like oh my goodness he does this all the time he speaks to the same heart everyone's heart because he's one spirit 
Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm gonna turn this off because yeah. So if you guys join. Yeah, I don't move too much. <laughs> <laughs>